So today we're checking out a very cool and very simple Minecraft plugin. This one is called Better Chat Bubbles. It is made by the same developer as Fancy Physics, which I've made a video on a little while back. And this plugin literally adds chat bubbles to your Minecraft server. It is actually super cool and impressive. So let's take a look at what this plugin has to offer. I do want to ask you to double check if you're subscribed to my channel. Almost 90% of my daily viewers is not actually subscribed. So even though you might think you're a subscriber, there's a big chance you're actually not. So if you could just scroll down, double check if the subscribe button is actually pressed, that would help me out a crazy lot. Thank you so much. So to get this plugin, you will first need to purchase it from Spigot MC. There will be a link to the plugin page in the description down below. Make sure to log in with a Spigot MC account, otherwise you will not be able to see the page. Then after downloading, simply drag the plugin into the plugins folder of your Minecraft server. Then give your server a quick reboot and after joining your game again, as soon as you say something in chat, it will appear above your head. Subscribe to Kassasura. You should definitely do that. But how cool is that? So it doesn't matter what you say. Hi, how are you doing? I'm doing great. You can see that everything just appears above my head. Now, just to show you what happens when you send a really, really long message. Let's just keep pressing the H button for a little bit. And there we go. <laughs> but like you can see it will still appear. It is there and other players will be able to read it, which is really cool. Now, this is how text looks by default. You can see it works pretty well with shaders enabled. I always play with shaders, most people don't. And without shaders, I think the readability only goes up. Just to show you what it looks like without a resource pack, it is very cool and very readable. But of course, if you want to customize this plugin and make the text above your head look a little different, you totally can. So let's take a look at the config. Go to your Minecraft server directory. By the way, if you're still looking for a great place to host a Minecraft server, you might want to check out channel partner Alienhost. They offer absolutely incredible Minecraft servers for great prices. I've been hosting at them for a big while now and my experience has been amazing. So do make sure to check them out at alienhost.net and make sure to use code Kasasara at checkout for a 20% off your first order. But in your Minecraft server directory, you simply want to go to your plugins folder and then we're going to go to better chat bubbles. Now inside of there, there's only a single file, config.yml. So here at the top, we got some very, very general settings. For example, do you want to disable the plugin? Do you want to disable chat messages? Or what is the maximum bubble count? In my case, it's five, which means that if I send a lot of messages very fast after each other, a maximum of five bubbles can appear. After that, the oldest bubble will just disappear again. Now over here, we have the bubble settings. So we can change the placement and the spacing and the skill, all things like that. You can also change the duration of the animation. So the duration in seconds currently is seven, which means that the bubble will stay on screen for seven seconds. And the in and out speed is five and the up speed is also five. So if you want to make that animation quicker, you can totally do that by changing these numbers. But then we got the style. So this is where we can customize the look of the bubble a little bit. On line 19, we got the billboard type. Currently, it is set to center. The other available options are fixed, vertical or horizontal. So if you want to change it up, you can totally do that. Then we also got the text alignment types. So this is just basically should it be aligned in the center or left or right. It is set to center by default. I don't think you want to change this, but if you want for some reason, then you totally can. Big thumbs up for customization. We love to see it. Now you can also change if there should be a shadow or a background, but this is very interesting. The background color. Now you will see a very weird number here. It is not a hex code. It is not a Minecraft color code. So how do we change the color? Well, the developer of this plugin has linked a little website on their Spigot MC page. And this website will help you generate a color. So let's say we don't want any red. I can set it to zero and bam, stuff changes. <laughs> so like you can see, I'm changing up colors here. Let's do 255 red and then zero green. Bam, now we got a red color. Or what if we add blue to five? Five. Interesting, interesting, looking cool. Now, there's no real way to input anything here. So it might 
might take some time to get the color that you want, but if you eventually have a color that you like, you can copy this number over here, the int value, and you want to paste that over here, just like that. Now you can also choose the maximum line width, so how wide can a line be before it starts a next line, if you send a very long message, like I showed earlier. And then should you be able to see text through blocks? In some servers, that's a great idea. In other servers, that's a very, very bad idea. But it's great to have the customization option here. So I'm going to set the bubble size to 2. And I'm going to save content. And let's see what it looks like in game. So we increased the bubble size. We also changed the background color. And if I now type subscribe to Kasasura, this is what it will look like. <laughs> now, I'm going to be honest. This might be a little too big. But it works really, really well. By the way, something I feel like I should mention. The A in RGBA stands for alpha, which basically means transparency. So 255 means it is not transparent. If you set it to 180, for example, that means that the color will be a bit transparent. So if I now copy this new int value and paste it in the config, you will see that when I now send something, it is going to be a bit transparent. You can actually see through the background because I took down the alpha level. I thought that would be important to know. I want to thank you so much for watching. Make sure to double check if you're actually subscribed to my channel such a big part of my daily viewers is not subscribed so just double check it will be amazing also make sure to get on my discord server if you're not on there yet it will be absolutely epic to see you there and thank you so much to my channel members for the incredible support you guys are truly legends and then i will see you in the next one bye, -bye.